welcome you to Portland, Oregon. It's been a long time since we've come to Portland, and it's great to be back. No doubt, no doubt, Cole. Tonight, the Rose City's gonna get its face rocked, and I can't wait. And neither can these fans. We better get started, or we might have a riot on our hands. This is one heck of a match so far. It sure is, Taz. What do you think the highlight has been so far? Well, that'll probably come a little bit later on in the match. When you decide to shut your yap, he likes fighting dirty. And it's easy to see why. He's pretty good at it. He certainly is. And I hope he's proud of himself. Personally, I find it disgusting. What a counter that was. I hope this isn't the last time we see these superstars face off. You're not going to hear me say this much, Cole, but I definitely agree with you. This has all the makings of a nice, long feud. I don't know how nice it is, but there are certainly some issues between these superstars, and I think this match might only exasperate them. Please, Cole, watch your language, will you? It's a family show. Look at these fans. They didn't like that one bit. Yeah, well, you know what? I got some bad news for these fans. He don't give a damn what you think. It sounds like this capacity crowd has something on their minds, Taz. Yeah, and thousands of paying customers can't be wrong. I gotta tell you, Cole, I thought I had this thing figured out. But now I... What a submission maneuver. You must be familiar with this one, Taz. Yeah, I've been on both sides of it, Cole. That's the truth. And let me tell you, it's better to give than receive. Reversal. He was one step ahead on that one. His opponent is groggy, and he's looking to take advantage. And he did it in a big way. Pump handle slam. You know, Cole, I'd ask you who you were pulled for in this match, but I think it's pretty obvious since the beginning who you're rooting for. I never claimed to be completely objective, Tad. It's no secret I respect superstars who stick within the rules and show some sportsmanship in the ring. You gotta understand, Cole. I know it ain't exactly kosher, but you're putting your body on the line in there. You gotta do whatever it takes to protect yourself and pick up the win. Kaz, you're talking about two different things. Going outside the rules in the name of self-defense is one thing. But cheating to steal a victory and enhance your own career is something completely different. You know, there is such a thing as playing to the crowd a little too much, and that's exactly what I'm seeing here. I disagree. He's wrestled this match his way all along, and now we see it paying off. Man, even if you end up winning a match like this, you're going to be feeling it for the next week. Yes, but that's the case if you lose as well. And having to deal with emotional as well as physical pain is that much worse. Emotional? What the hell are you talking about? Well, I've been in the locker room after a match and seen the superstars who don't get their hands raised. You can literally feel the disappointment radiating off them. It's not a pretty sight. Whoa! I think these fans have got a little something they want to share with us. And they're right, Taz. They paid for their tickets after all. You just don't see action like this every day, Cole. You sure don't, Taz. And we've got the best seats in the house. He's looking to put his opponent away right here. And that pump handle slam might have just done it. <laughs> Call me Pop. I'm not your wife. She's a dangerous woman to be sure, Taz. You're never sure what she's going to do half the time. I don't even think she knows. Each of these competitors is looking for the slightest hit of weakness in the other. That's the law of the jungle, Cole. An injured superstar's like a wounded animal. It's survival of the fittest. And that also means that if you're not at 100%, you've got to be able to hide it from your opponent. You got that right, Cole. This business is as psychological as it is physical. You can't let your opponent think they're easy pickings. Well, I wouldn't consider any of these superstars to be easy pickings, no matter how beaten up they get. Hey, 
the ref's got a tough job. I mean, we've seen this before. He'll do whatever it takes to win and take every advantage he can. Hey, no, that's not going to make the problem, but you got to do whatever it takes to win. I love hearing the crowd come alive, even when I don't exactly agree with what they're saying. Me too. And I do agree with what they're saying, Taz. Man, you talk about superstars who ain't got an ounce of quit in them, huh? You're looking at them right here. And that's a potentially dangerous mindset to be in. If you're too proud to realize that you're in trouble, you might wind up risking your career for a single match. Look, Cole, this ain't ballet. You gotta go in there every single match and be willing to do whatever it takes. You'd know that if you actually stepped in between the ropes. I don't have to have been in a match to realize that jeopardizing my future for the sake of one match is incredibly short-sighted. Cole, I swear, I'm gonna replace you with someone who actually knows what they're talking about. Maybe Carlito. He might be a little tough to understand sometimes, but at least he knows what it's like to wrestle a match. Man, you just can't put anything over on these fans. You sure can't. They see everything, and they'll let you know about it. I'll tell you, all the WWE superstars are legit tough guys, but these superstars are really raising a bar here tonight. They sure are, Taz. We're seeing some great intensity here tonight. And that's the name of the game, called Intensity. You gotta stay on your opponent until one of you can't go anymore. I think these superstars are well aware of that, Taz. I think that's exactly what they've got in mind. When you see this level of competition, Cole, there is no doubt that SmackDown's just head and shoulders better than Raw. I couldn't agree more, Taz. Raw has some incredible superstars, no question about it. But they just can't compete with SmackDown's finest. Come on, Cole. I know you're just trying to be diplomatic, but you can't seriously sit there and say that there's anyone on the Raw roster you'd want to have here on SmackDown. Boy, I'll tell you, Taz, this Mickey James is 100. Man, this crowd is really swelling this guy's head. There's no doubt that these fans love him, Taz, and he's feeding off that energy right now. He's going up, and what goes up must come down. These superstars give everything they got when they're in a match like this. But a lot of people don't realize what they sacrifice behind the scenes also. No question. If you want to make it in the WWE, you've got to sacrifice just about everything for your career. It has to be as important to you as anything else in your life. Cole, what you gotta realize, to make it in the WWE, this is not a job. This is a lifestyle. That's why you see so much passion for what they do in the ring. And that's something you won't see anywhere else. With all due respect to every athlete and entertainer out there, no one gives as much of themselves to their fans as the WWE superstars. <laughs> These superstars are clearly giving it their all tonight. Not a surprise there at all, Cole. I knew it was only a matter of time before we saw that. I don't like it, but as long as it wins matches, it's going to keep happening. That's the bottom line, Cole. If you're not doing everything you can to win, then you're in the wrong game. I've got to admit, I'm not one of Mickey James' biggest fans. She's a little too unstable for my taste. Yeah, well, it just so happens that I like my divas with a little edge, Cole. And Mickey's about as edgy and unpredictable as they get. Can you believe this match so far, Cole? I really can't, Taz. This isn't anything like what I expected from these competitors. Yeah, I gotta admit, they're surprising the hell out of me here, too. And I think it's that unpredictability that makes these superstars so exciting to watch. And the crowd has come alive tonight with a chant directed at the superstars in the ring. Yeah, and you can't let that break your focus. But that's easier said than done. Come on, ref. That 
That should have been a disqualification right there. Shoulda, woulda, coulda, Cole, but it's not. It's not a disqualification. I think we might be looking at the future of the WWE in this ring tonight. Wouldn't surprise me what it is, Cole. It's a great match, and the fans are way into it. And that's what really matters. If the WWE fans aren't happy, they'll let you know it. Wow, now that one's not the rule book. But you know what they say, it's not a crime if you don't get caught. I don't believe it. How could the referee have missed that? Well, it looks like they're slowing the pace down a little bit here. That might not be such a good move in my opinion. Well, come on, you just can't keep going non-stop. That's a good way to wear yourself out and make a critical mistake. No, but you can't give the opponent any time to recover, either. You gotta stay on him and wear him down. Well, what about picking your spot? If you try to execute a badly timed move just because you want to stay on offense, that could have a disastrous result. I'll tell you what, bro. Let me talk. This is dumb. Why is he risking everything by going up there? And I'll tell you, this Mickey James, you know, she's supposed to be some kind of a psycho broad and everything. But not for nothing. She's one good look. What a cowardly move. He can't win fair and square, so he tries to screw his opponent out of the victory. Hey, look, there's nothing wrong with him doing whatever it takes to win the match. If it was that bad, the ref would have DQ'd him, right? Man, I'm telling you, for my in-ring ex- Look at this, he's using the ring itself as a weapon. And that's a great way to put a hurting on your opponent in a big way. I think we're hearing the First Amendment in action here tonight, Taz. It's a great thing to hear, Cole. I'm all in favor of freedom of ex- I think someone's been taking flying lessons, Taz. Man, I can't tell you how impressed I am with what I've seen here tonight so far. How could you not be impressed, Dan? Yeah. These are some of the greatest superstars in the world doing what they do best. Hey, slow down, girl pants. I went into this expecting a good match. I'm just saying it's even better than I thought it would be. I know exactly what you mean. These superstars certainly are pulling out all the stops. I gotta tell you, I didn't expect these guys to go off on each other the way they have tonight. This has been brutal this match so far. Well, Taz, it's not ballet, you know. Oh, really, Cole? Gee, here I was wondering what happened to the pointy coat shoes and the frilly little skirts. You know what? Maybe I should go check your closet. These superstars have been going hard all match. They sure have. And that's where the superb conditioning of the WWE superstars comes into play. No doubt, Cole. There ain't no way you're gonna win a match if you're out of gas two minutes into it. You can say that again. I've seen matches won and lost simply because one superstar was able to outlast their opponent. These superstars are on top of their game, but only one of them is gonna have their hand raised at the end of this one. And that's a real shame because like you said, this has been a great match so far. But what do you want, Cole? You wanna say that everyone wins so nobody gets their feelings hurt? I never said that. I'm just saying that in a great match like this, everyone involved deserves credit. This capacity crowd is making their opinions known. Top rope moves can win or lose you the match. There's very little middle ground. This has been a real rocket bus of a match so far. It has indeed. But I think this crowd would like to see these superstars pick up the pace a little bit. What are you talking about? This is some classic old school rust. Could this be? You know it, trusty Cole. I think we know which way this one's gonna go, Cole. Actually, Taz, from my perspective, I think it could go either way. And what perspective would that be exactly? The perspective of somebody who has a neck that resembles a stack of dimes? I don't know how they 
Oh my, the submission hold is locked in. And this ain't easy to get out of either, Cole. Oh man, these fans are fired up now. They sure are, and you know that's going to have an effect on this match. Seeing a match like this makes me proud to be part of this company. I'm with you, partner. You just can't experience a thrill like this anywhere else. And that's because you ain't gonna see athletes like this anywhere else. You certainly aren't. They're the greatest athletes in the world. And this is the only place you'll see them doing what they do best. What an incredible match we've seen so far. It ain't over yet, Cole. It sure isn't. I think these superstars could keep going for quite a while longer. These superstars certainly aren't going easy on each other tonight. They sure are giving the fans their money's worth. No doubt, Cole. These WWE superstars put their bodies on the line night after night. And the fans sell out these arenas night after night, Taz. Sounds like a pretty fair trade to me. These WWE fans just can't get enough of these superstars. And I'm glad to see it. A WWE match isn't just about competition, it's also about entertaining the fans. Okay, well, if that's the case, how come they got you as an announcer? I mean, that ain't exactly great entertainment, in my opinion. You might be right, Taz. I think it would be extremely entertaining to listen to you try to call a match all by yourself. He's gonna finish him right now! He's gonna finish him! And there it is, the pump handle slam with authority. Wow, listen to that chant, Taz. I tell you what, if you've got the crowd on your side or against you, it makes a huge difference, believe me. Man, what a match. Kids, if you're watching this, don't try this stuff at home. Absolutely not. These are trained WWE superstars. And even they wind up seriously injured sometimes. No joke, Cole. These guys know what they're doing. Face the world, trained professionals. Looks like they might be taking this match down a notch here, Cole. The pace of the match may have slowed, but the intensity of these superstars certainly has. You can say that again. Waiting for your opponent to make a move or give an opening can be just as intense as putting a foot down. And whether or not you have that kind of patience often means the difference between winning and losing a match. There's not a superstar in the locker room who can afford to ignore these fans, Cole. You're right about that. Without the fans, we'd all be out of a job. of these competitors might be the only thing that's keeping them going. And pride's a powerful emotion. But when you just plain run out of gas, there's nothing in the world that can keep you going. Well, it doesn't look like they're running out empty quite yet, but you never know when that could change. Man, this, I'll tell you what, man. This one's just turned into a fight, pure and simple. We knew it was going to be intense. We knew it was going to be physical. But I don't think anyone was prepared for this. I've got to admit, it kind of took me by surprise, Cole. That don't happen too often. That's an understatement. You've been in hundreds of matches in your career. We both called hundreds more. We usually have a pretty good idea of what to expect, but not this time. I guess it just goes to show you, Cole, like they say, anything can happen here in the WWE. Watching these superstars go. I don't think the fans like that one too much. <laughs> I'm sure this breaks this guy's heart. It should. These fans are the lifeblood of WWE. And he doesn't give a damn what they think. I certainly don't envy the referee in this match. No kidding. No matter what call you make, you're going to get on the bad side of at least one superstar. And that's about the last place you want to be if you're not a superstar yourself. Trust me, I know. These superstars are so unpredictable. I'm having a hard time figuring out what they're going to do next. Don't bother, 
fault. I don't think you're going to be able to. Just sit back and enjoy the ride. And what a wild ride it's been so far, with no signs of stopping anytime soon. And there's the submission hole. What a deadly maneuver this is. You're not kidding, Cole. Oh, man. This is just about the last hole.